there, unfortunate audience. My name's Elotario, and welcome to Luigi's Mansion. Now, due to the success of Luigi's Mansion 3, I thought it might be fun to revisit the original. So how about we start this adventure off? So we're in the game. So, moving the control stick, we can control Luigi. I find that as a neat detail. Sometimes lightning will strike at random points and it'll create light. But you can control Luigi by using control stick. You can turn him using the C stick. You can call Mario by pressing the A button. You can also hump furniture by pressing the A button. You can, uh, well. That's about it, actually. So, how about we try to go through this main door? That is ungodly smooth, and I do not like it. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. You can turn off the flashlight by holding B. It's just nice to be able to turn off a flashlight. And so, we find this mysterious key that came out of nowhere. Luigi, how did that flashlight get stuck to his back? There must be some sort of magic going on. Anyways, I'm assuming since he went through this door that this must be the key for this door. I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. Your uh, speech bubble is over Luigi. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Oh, this looks ugly. All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post haste. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm. Where is this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost study. Professor E. Gad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're shortening mine. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lot of 20 or so. 
And I'll tell you that mansion just appeared a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream or an illusion or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy about winning a haunted house. Now that I just look, now that I get a look at you, I just recall the guy with the red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with the ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Oh my god, Luigi has some sort of tumor in his hand. And now we get to choose two controls. The only difference is that Luigi sidesteps. Now, originally, sidestep was the original control style and was the main factor in the difficulty of this game. But the developers thought that is really stupid so they added a regular control system for the regular control system that made the game regular. This was... So you were supposed to play the game like this. According to the a developer, this was supposed to be uh, a gameplay aspect that made the game harder. Thank God they had a mind. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and C-Stick change di your direction. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like the darkness, and they avoid the light. So if you hit him with the flashlight beam of all of a sudden, you can stun him momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. And so, start our adventure. You want to turn around, flash him, and then pull the opposite direction. Now the most effective way to pull back is to smack the control stick in the opposite direction uh, multiple times. You don't want to hold it down, you want to continuously, after like a few seconds, then hold it down again, you know, like that. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost's heart, that's your chance to vacuum him up. Walk vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction and bring him in. You already explained this to us, you get? When that surprised ghost's heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction opposite to the ghost. Oh, look at that, there's two of them. Oh, is it gonna be hard? No, nope, it's easy. Getting two at a time is rare, so if you get two at a time, you're a master. Tilt the control stick in the opposite direction quickly and repeatedly for the best results. You see, even he says it. You have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow pow. The more the better. Got it? Yeah, but you only brought out one EGAT. Some sort of cruel joke. Ghosts love to hide in the dark places. Isn't that a hoot? There, here they come. And now, there's like an armada. <laughs> this is my favorite part. You get close? The best I can do is three at a time. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Pulte Ghost 3000 as a team. You get me, young feller? That'll do. How many did you get? Nine. Wow, ten ghosts! Positively dazzling, Luigi. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. But before we do that... Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about we take a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Let's go to the gallery. Off we go. Huh. Quite proud of the gallery, huh? Well, uh, EGAT, I gotta tell you something. A gallery is mostly made of, of uh, full paintings. What's this BS? Wait, so I... These things are animatronics, but they're statue and... Uh, what? Hmm. Even Luigi's confused, like, hmm? 
Are you done appreciating the art for today, Luigi? Uh, yeah, go back to the lab. Alright then. Where you go, Luigi? To the mansion. Let's do this, buddy. Careful now, Luigi. I will. I always love that cutscene, the twining thing, the doo -doo -doo. It, it's time to the flashlight turning on, and that's beautiful. So here we have our first instance of actual gameplay. Using what we learn, we can suck the thing off the mirror, and look. So let me explain the controls. This is the Game Boy Horror. Uh, you can scan objects using it, and Luigi can give you their thoughts about it. I could just gaze at one of these for hours. Really, Luigi? Let's see what happens if we check this mirror. Well, guess what? Luigi has a hallucinogenic dream and starts freaking and tripping balls. And then he just ends up in the middle here. Uh, we'll get into more detail about that later. But first, checking objects. Nothing. Great. You want to check a room when it's dark. Uh, when the room gets bright, uh, a lot of the treasure disappears. Which I feel like is a nice idea. You can also use the Game Boy Horror as a map, and as we can see, we have a basement, uh, two, three floors, and a roof. Which is nice. That's, that's a nice detail. Shaking the chandelier will give us money. It's a good incentive to actually go check stuff before you talk to anybody. And, uh, we have Toad just around here, so... Give me the dollar. Uh, what is Toad doing? Boo hoo hoo, where did go where did you go, Mario? Wow wow. Oh Luigi? Wow, wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh joy, thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a con a mansion and never returned. Wait. As soon as he heard I won a mansion, he just went for it. Wow, what a guy. But then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. And I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I was kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If she, do if he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. She'll do a backflip. Goodbye. Now just leave it to me. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. How did you do that? By no circumstances should Toads... Be able to magically turn on the lights in a room. What, do you have like some sort of electrical field? I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. And he can also save your game. Okay, that's it. Toad is God. Oh my god, Luigi's face. Talk to me for help anytime. Uh, I'd rather not, Toad. And now, let's actually get into playing the game. This is our first dark room. And let's use everything we learned to good use. Checking cabinets for money. Yeah. And now I get to comment on the music. The music in this game is freaking great. Luigi completes the song. That is something I've never seen done in any other game ever. I haven't even- I don't know what other game could possibly have done that. Luigi Mansion is the only one I know that could possibly have done that. But, the music is great. It has this sort of, like, vibe that no other game I've ever heard has. It's a horror song, but yet it sounds, like, uh, really climactic and, like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't- I have no idea how to explain it. But once you're done exploring the room, what you want to do is take out these candle lights. <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green! Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love you, and now they will get you, Blue Hair. Now you're in it for it, Blug Hug. Just like a little red cat before you. May you wander in the lost, in the darkness, forever! Are you afraid of the dark little man? Are you? Huh? 
Blah, here they are now. Uh, question? Who the hell are these people? And why are they so mean? Obviously, they're deceased. In fact, I think this guy appears in the game. I just don't know where. And here we have our first instance of combat. It's the same as the training room. But I I think these actually appear as ghosts in the game. Which is a nice detail. Ah, I screwed that one up. And that's a nice little touch. Every time you beat a room and get rid of all the ghosts, you uh, turn on the lights. Once getting a key, the Game Boy Horror will show you where that key should go. And you can like zoom in so that you can see Luigi's face in full glory. Nice model. Anyways, it's telling us that the key is used for this door, so let's put it in. We've already seen this. Our first instance of having to deal with ghosts while looking for treasure. Just go quickly. I just usually stun them and they go away. That's how I get all the treasure in the room. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to get all the treasure first. Stun them, run away, and that's how you do it. This will actually become a problem later on in the game. But for now, uh, I think that's called the golden, no, that's the... Uh, I think this is called a pink or purple puncher, but anyways, it punches twice as hard as a regular ghost. It's not, it's not, it's not really difficult. Honestly, I don't know the name of the ghost in this game. You're just too forgettable. Nah, it's just because I don't, I don't read the manual, and I think that's where they tell you the name of the ghosts. But honestly, who the hell reads the manual to games anyways? Or at least nowadays. Ow! Douche! Get over here! Uh, also, when you're sucking up a ghost, listen really carefully, and you'll hear like this cool music that plays. Not now. I gotta check this place. Okay, here we have the first instance of something incredible. Speedy Spirit! It's a ghost that when you kill it, drops a lot of money. And this is very, very necessary for getting a good ending in this game. Uh, ghosts will try to disrupt you from getting Speedy Spirits. Which is why it's so difficult to get them. Because as soon as you open that closet door, there's gotta be that one ghost who just tries to get you. Our first instance of a different kind of... Well, uh... I think that's, uh, I think this ghost is called a trash can ghost or garbage ghost, I can't remember correctly, but he basically drops bananas and you slip on them and lose health. He sucks. Nobody likes banana ghost. Look buddy, I'm just trying to get the money from this chest. I mean, I must be delusional calling that a chest. Nice. There he is! Aw, oh, damn it. Alright, bananas can slip you up all sucking ghosts. Luigi? Wanna explain yourself? What? What is that sound? Something's humming along Luigi. Boom. You can suck up banana peels, but watch out sucking them up because you can slip on them while you're sucking them up. And that sucks. And there you go. And the key falls on top of there. And you just gotta suck it up. Okay, so Dr. Egat says that this house appeared a few days ago, yet it's filled with clothes that people wore. Mario. Pay attention. Luigi, at high enough health, will say Mario like this. Mario. That'll be important for later, keep that in mind. Oh god, Toad is here. I think there's a glitch in this game, I'm not sure what it is, but if you like walk towards Toad in a certain direction, you can like push him. 
I don't, I don't know how to do it. I just know that's a glitch. Mario. Luigi, talk to the goddamn toad. Wow, wow, Mario, where are you? Wow, ha, oh, Luigi. Yes, Luigi. How lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Oh, I can see. Please, please, please save Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? I don't know, Toad. Don't ask me. That's why I'm calling for Mario. Mario. And now do you want to see the true purpose of these mirrors? It's sinister. That's right. Looking into a mirror with the Game Boy Horror will instantaneously teleport you to the foyer. Or the foyer. Or the foyer. I don't know how to pronounce it. So... We go to where the key told us to go. When we suddenly get a call from who? Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've ever met, than we've yet to see him lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from one another. Ghosts you've seen from so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes, you can learn the best way to surprise him. Well, Luigi, keep my fingers crossed for you. I mean, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I am reading terribly. I've already seen this. Oh, a bunch of coins. I wonder what happens if I go towards the door with a bunch of coins in it. Fuck. This is a fake door. You can check if it's real or not by looking at the map, and you can clearly see that this is fake. It's a phony. Don't fall for the fake door. If you do, you're a noob. Anyways, let's go for here. Oh yeah. Immediately start humping everything in the room. Oh, that's right. These freaking books start flying at you. I hate books. All right, so if we check these cheese, this is a golden mouse. It appears when you check golden cheese or uh, when you check regular cheese. They only appear in the dark and they are very, very uh, elusive. You have to check cheese with the Game Boy Horror and it's sometimes hidden pretty well. So you might want to check entire rooms just to be sure. Uh, point your flashlight up, check this chair. And you get a speedy spirit! This one gives us a ruby. And now that we've gotten everything in this room has to offer, I think. I think. Did we get everything in this room? No, alright. What about the fireplace? Ship bottle? Alright, now we got in everything in this room. Let's start to fight the boss. All you gotta do is wait till he yawns and suck him up. The better this is a boss ghost. Uh, it takes a lot more skill to fight them because you have to find out how to get them to expose their hearts. No poison mushroom! Do not ruin this. Yeah. For what I know, uh, the faster and longer you can suck them up in one session, the more pearls you get. Pearls are very valuable items. And you should uh, always try to suck up boss ghosts in one suck. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. All right. Now that we finished this room, we can head off into the next room and watch out for the mice on the floor, because apparently ghost mice are a thing in this game. Because we all know that when you check your bedside drawer, you find freaking gold bars. Who the hell buys paintings of flowers? Now that's just not my style. I... Okay. By sucking this ceiling fan, what do you get? Money, because of course, and also yes, there's money hidden everywhere in this mansion. So if you just check every object in the room, you'll probably find a lot of money. 
be, be sure to use the game board horror in every scenario to make sure you're not missing out on any secrets. And also, uh, this toad, he's happy, but the lights aren't on. I like how we just came to this house and we're already killing a family. Luigi demonstrates another family tonight. Luigi hasn't even known this family. In fact, he doesn't even know this family and he's already just captured their spirits. Like he's just gotten here and they've just gotten out of whatever and uh... He's just... He's just killed two family members, a mother and a father, and now he's off to kill the baby. <laughs> Jeez, I was joking, Luigi. We're actually gonna kill a baby. This is the child's bedroom. In the nursery. Wait, why is this called a nursery? Shouldn't this be named child's bedroom or something like that? By rocking this horse, you wake the child. Hey, wanna play with me? Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, get over here and ow! Some, you know what? How about you go screw yourself? Yeah, turn away, Luigi. <laughs> ow! You gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you always have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small. Now grow smaller. Small, itty tiny, little, wee, goo ga ga goo ga. Boy, he was like the size of freaking Luigi's entire upper torso. Oh my god. I am on some heavy duty drugs. If I'm seeing giant babies and a freaking. What kind of background is that? My god. Luigi really is high. We're inside the baby cradle. That's huge now. Oh god. Uh, the secret to this boss fight is to grab his own weapon and throw it back at him. And suck him up. For what I know, you can't get him in one single session. So, yeah. What kind of attack is that? Buddy, you're missing like half of the entire stage. And now, more horses. This is not very... Buddy, you're gonna have to change up your strategy if you want to hit me. And he sort of does, but that's about it. The ball that you want to catch is differently shaded. It's, it looks different than the other balls, which is why you want to catch it. And after that, the nursery is lit up, and we're out of that whatever that was. Yeah. Oh, another call. Cursor Luigi! Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. 
I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come up? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho ho ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Think again, they're at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse too. <clears throat> How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into the slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. Notice how he says it works in reverse, too. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Luigi seems genuinely happy about this. The ghosts are invisible. So we need to... Press them into visible form. Presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for the help, Luigi. And at the end of every area, you get a summary. Neville. Lydia. Chauncey. You've caught a total of three ghosts! Give yourself a pat in the back, boy. And in one single session, we've made over eight million dollars. Holy hell. Luigi might as well go retire and get some food. I don't know, like, I, I don't know, just Go home, take a nice nap, he got eight million dollars, invest into some stock, get a lawyer, an accountant, you know, and, and just leave this place. I mean, like, he can make some serious bank! Where? Where? Where will you go, Luigi? Well, next time on Luigi's Mansion, we'll be going back to the mansion. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye I forgot to mention something. Where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Well then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was tw number 22, Bulosis. But there was lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take on revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Bulosis from the painting. Then they went and turned all my other porches back into ghosts too. As if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night. And then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my, po my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside that mansion. I just have to get him back.